Jay-Z! Focus! Hey, my boy! My good boy! in Amarillo now. I'm going to stay the night, obviously. Um, but today, there's a drag strip event and um, Street Volkswagen Amarillo, the dealership, they're sponsoring this day at the drag strip. It's a car show and then uh, they're doing, uh, what's it called, like bracket racing, I guess. And uh, I'm sure we're on our way up there for that. Um, hopefully get some runs in. I'm running late. Uh, I had to wait on some people and then I forgot about the time change. Uh, going over to the Texas border is an hour um, ahead, so I left an hour. I wanted to be here at noon, now I'm pretty much going to be here at 1, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully I can still like get some runs in and, and get teched and all that. Um, I probably run like a 12.5, I mean, the DA, I have to check the DA, but it's probably like 5,000 something, and I only have 91 in the tank. Uh, there's no 93 here, and there's no 85 pumps open on the weekend in Amarillo. Um, I guess I could buy some like X85 at the track, but that shit's expensive, and I don't think it's even really worth it. Um, just to put like two gallons in, really, but um, yeah. So I just want to get some times down basically. Next week, the fuel system's going in, and then the new tune, um, and then whenever the turbo shows up, it shows up, but. I want to get some times, you know, this year on this setup and then come back with the uh, fuel system on and then come back again with the turbo, obviously. Just get some comparative times. Um, Mile, turn left oh, yeah. onto South Washington Street. Wish me luck. So we're here at the drag strip. You can kind of see Philly's car back there. He just showed up as well. We are in line to get teched. We both sign up for Volkswagen versus Volkswagen. Um, bracket racing and there's only like maybe seven cars in each I'll pay out for both first place is 250 100 bucks to second and then your money back for runner-up uh, basically all I have to do is stay consistent to win I'm usually pretty freaking consistent as long as I don't miss a gear um, I get super ner nervous at these events um, all I've had to eat today is like part of a Slim Jim and a NOS I haven't, I haven't ate yet today um, so I'm a little nervous, but we get teched in, get a couple runs in, see how we're doing. Probably gonna be around like 12.7, 12.6, I don't know. I'm gonna let a lot of air out of the tires. Put them down to like 30 PSI, see if I can cut a good 60 foot. Um, I think I have my best run in here. I'll show you guys in a bit after I get teched. To see what 60 foot I'm gonna try and beat myself. But As you guys can see, I called it. We're at 5201 for uh, the density altitude today, even though we're at 3583 feet. Um, so I'll probably maybe hit like 26 pounds of boost. In the midday, it's like 67 degrees out. Well, that's a 64. Um, I'm just excited. Like I said, I'm very, very nervous. I need to go turn in my tech card, get my number on the windshield and stuff, and I'm just gonna go line up, do like two, three, four runs. Um, the actual racing starts actually in half an hour, so I gotta hurry up. All right, guys. Well, me and Philly both we're in line. Get some test and tune runs in. Um, I'm not sure if they just like record our test and tune times, and that's what they use for the bracket racing. I need to ask one of these guys. They weren't exactly clear on that. Um, they're cleaning the track right now. I guess someone broke or spilled something or something. But um, I'm gonna pass the camera off to my girlfriend here after this run. I forgot to run it up to her been running around I got my tire pressure down to like 31 I usually do autocross at like 32 um, I think last time I was here I had him around 32 and I had I got my best 60 foot I ever had so I'm actually gonna dig that paperwork out now and see what it was so I have something to go off of but uh yeah I'm super nervous I gotta pee again already I just went pee I gotta pee again this always happens to me <laughs> um, but yeah here we are
I've done three runs so far. I need to pass the camera off to her. First two runs sucked. I'm getting some like front wheel hoppy. Uh, it's, just, it's just not right. I think I'm launching a little too hard. It's a little weird with this new clutch. I still gotta, gotta kind of feel things out. It's the first time with this new clutch. Out of drag strip. Um, and I'm nervous. No excuses, but my first two runs were like 13, 16 ish. Not good. This one I just did, I think it was like a 1279, which is about on par with where it should be. Pretty fast, man. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see here. Over here in the Bernard's Advanced Collision. So it was a 1960, still not very good. But I did a, a 1279 at 109, which is. That's a lot better. Still not where I want to be. And I'm not consistent with that yet, so I'm going to hot lap the out of the car uh, probably two more times, let it cool off, and then do it again. The actual bracket racing starts in like two hours, so uh, I have a little bit of time. So the race you just seen was a bracket race and the way bracket work bracket racing works if you're unfamiliar with it i'm new to it as of today so um basically say the guy i'm racing is 14 seconds is he picks 14 seconds as his number and i pick 12 seconds as my number the number that you pick you can't beat that so if i run say 11 9 and i pick 12 then i eliminated myself you want to be as close as to your number that you pick as you can and what happens is when you guys line up, the lights go off differently. So say the 14 second guy, he's going to go first and then it's going to wait two seconds and then I'll go. That's the difference between 14 and 12. Um, and basically you don't want to beat your time and you want to stay consistent as possible. The consistency is the name of the game for this stuff. It's not necessarily who's the fastest. It's the most consistent with the number that you chose. So I chose 12.8. I actually ran my best time of the day of, of a 12 6 4 which actually might be my best time ever i'm not sure it's definitely my best trap my trap was 112 i don't think i've ever trapped over 109 um the the da right now the da right now is 6500 feet if you don't know what that means basically it's the density altitude it takes into consideration of humidity temperature and your static elevation and it makes this number uh basically the higher the number the worse it is like being sea level is like the best for a car, negative sea level, which is possible in certain places. Uh, the guys that can have that, you are very lucky people. But, um, so I thought I knocked, well, I technically I did knock myself out, but I guess they messed up the timers. So I get to go again. And there's only, there was only seven of us in the class and now it's down to four. So I'll get to go again. Um, if I win, I'll go to the last round. I could possibly win 250 bucks today. Um, but I'm gonna change my time because I, I chose 12.8. I'm gonna change it to 12.6 since I ran a 12.6. Um, I don't think I'm gonna run faster than that, especially if the DA is increasing the temperature. And now it was like 68 this morning. I think it's like close to 80 now. So we'll see. I'm very, I'm, I'm really stoked. I don't know how I managed to have my best um, time ever. I actually wound up putting air back in my tires. I brought them down to like 25 and did some test runs and it was so terrible. So I brought them back up to like 32. And then I did my best run ever somehow in like the heat of the day. It's literally like the hottest point of the day right now. It's 5.01 in the afternoon. So, yeah, just a little update. Sorry I'm rambling on. Um, we got autocross tomorrow, which is I'm most excited about. But 
this stuff's kind of fun. I'll get to come back and compare, like I said, with the fuel system when it's in, and then come back again with the turbo once that's in and see how much uh, we increase. And of course, the, there'll be a new tune as well. So we'll see how this all pans out. she got a, a good angle of that race but I did win so I go into the next round there's only three cars left one of us will get a buy um, I'm stoked I actually on that race I probably could have ran like a 12-4 or a 12-5 but probably realistically like a 12-5 um, I let out at the end like a bunch of times like when I passed him I was like well I shouldn't stay full throttle because I might actually break out because the car felt super great I don't know what changed or something but the car is now running phenomenal um, Maybe it was a knock sensor acting funny or something, or maybe I'm just progressing, I don't know. But I let out at the end like a bunch. I tr I ran a 12.7 at 102, and my 12.6 was at 112. Um, so yeah, now the cars I'm with, the other Mark 7 GTI that was in the class with me, he, um, he lost that race. So now I'm with like a Carmen Ghia and a Jetta. A, turbo diesel Jetta so uh, we'll see how this goes hopefully I get the buy and make it to finals I mean I could potentially walk away with 250 bucks tonight and it's nothing crazy but that helps um, I put that money like right towards the money I owe on my turbo since I put that shit on credit <laughs> 15 model VW TDI. over here on the tower side Bryce it is 2016 VW Golf. Well, getting towed. I broke something. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think it's an axle. Don't mind my crazy hair, but um, definitely broken axle. It's the passenger side. I'm a little upset. <laughs> this kind of blows, but Let's see how well you guys can see it here. Maybe there we go. You can see my axle totally just uh, didn't like me anymore. It's rough. Well, shout out to Michael, shout out to Philly, shout out to Fernando, everybody helped me out today, finding part numbers, giving me rides, uh, huge shout out to Michael, hey, man, it's always coming in clutch, such a good guy, um, he actually lives in the same time I, I do, but he has a shop up here, and his truck and trailer were here, so we loaded my car up onto the trailer, and uh, he's going to bring the car back tomorrow here, uh, after autocross and stuff, so uh, I'm going to race her car tomorrow for autocross. I don't know when I'm putting this video out. This video might be before, I don't know. Either way, I've been racing her car for autocross. Um, it is just the axle, as far as I can tell, as far as I've shown you guys, it's about all I know. We'll see when we get home. We'll get her up on jack stands, get the wheel off and inspect everything. So we're looking for that video later. Um, I'm still planning on putting the fuel system and stuff in this week. I'm um, gonna do research tonight on the part number for this axle. There's a bunch there's the part number and then there's like three of them that have two different um, letters after it. There's three different ones with the same part number, just different letters. So I don't know what the difference between they are. I need to send my VIN to Paul over at ShopDap and he can he can figure it out for me and I can order one. So shout out to him as well, helping me out. But uh, yeah, I'm a little sad. It's kind of cool that I broke an axle because no one really breaks axles on this platform at all, like ever. Like I went and searched through our form. 18,000 members look on there. There was like three people that broke axles. And they're like people that broke them at the cup. They're making a lot more power than I was. So, car definitely dead hooked. Had a lot of fun today, but we're going to do some fun laps real quick. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.